Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to remove DDWRT from any Netgear Nighthawk router that you have. If you already flash your router and you're planning to go back to the original stock Netgear firmware, then I'm going to show you how to remove DDWRT. First thing you need to do is, I recommend connect hardwired from your Netgear router to your PC. Otherwise, you might break your Netgear router if you do it through Wi-Fi. So once you connect hardwire, what you want to do is you want to go down here and type in CMD for command prompt. First thing I do is I do ipconfig slash release, then ipconfig space forward slash renew just to get a new IP address from my Netgear. All right. What you're looking at is you're looking at the gateway now. This is what you need to type in in your browser. This is how you get to your router. So you type in the gateway address. I already logged in with the uh, credentials that I created when I installed DZWRT. So you need to enter the credentials when you first created DZWRT. If not, you could press and hold the reset button for 30 seconds. Once it resets, you go back to the browser, type your address in, and that should prompt you to change the password. So right here I have a Netgear R6400, which is the AC1750. So in order for me to revert back to Netgear, I need to go back to the Netgear website. So let's say if you have the R6700 or the R6400 or whichever R6 Netgear Nighthawk router that you have, just go ahead and search for Netgear firmware. Usually the first link here will be okay. So once you find your model, what you need to do is you need to go to downloads Instead of downloading the latest firmware, you have to go where it says view previous versions. And you want to go all the way down until you see initial release. And you download that. Once it downloads, you want to go ahead and unzip the contents. You're going to get this CHK file. That's what you need. And now what you need to do is you need to go over to administration and log in. And then you need to go to firmware upgrade. In here, I'm going to set this to reset to default settings. And then I'm going to browse my downloads folder and look for that CHK file. From here, make sure your router again is connected hardwired, not to Wi-Fi because you might break your router. So go ahead and hit upgrade. Now this process may take about three to five minutes once you set up the new firmware, the stock firmware. Then the next step is to upgrade to the latest Netgear firmware, which is what we want to do. All right, so I got a upgrade successful message. The unit is rebooting now and I see the flashing lights on my Netgear going crazy. So I'm just going to give it a few to see if it actually reboots to the Netgear firmware. And what I'll do is I'll go to command prompt and then I'll try to ping the default Netgear IP followed by a dash T for unlimited. And this will basically tell me when the router might be up and running. Now I recommend do not reboot your router until everything is done 
unpack into your router otherwise you might break it if you reboot the router manually in the middle of the firmware being applied and always use the initial release firmware otherwise it will not work All right, looks like I got more lights coming on now. Okay, it looks like it's pinging now. And again, that's my default gateway, that's the router address now don't freak out if it times out again usually your router reboots once or twice to apply the new firmware once you see that it starts pinging without timing out then you could go back to your browser and check and see if you're able to get to the router. All right, there we go. All the lights turn white and it's pinging. So let's go back to the browser and type in that gateway address. and i believe this is my other router i got on my network so there is a conflict let me go ahead and release and renew all right so it appears that i got a 10.0.0.1 address so let's see All right, so it looked like the IP address actually changed. Instead of a 192, I got a 10.0.0.1. So don't forget to always release and renew your IP address. I really thought I was gonna get a 192. But since I got to the Netgear Genie page, this is good. Now I could continue and it's gonna try to upgrade my firmware. And then from here, I could set up my wireless settings, set up the password for the Netgear router. And then this basically reverts back my Netgear router to the default Netgear firmware. So basically, that's all there is to it. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any issues, leave your comment below. And thank you for watching.